Good morning, staff and students. Today is Monday. It is October 23rd. It's an 8 day as always. I hope the lines are ready to roar. At Howard High School, we are filling our days with pride because we are Howard Strong. At this time, if you could join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Just finished up a great homecoming week here. Lots of spirit shown by our lions out there. But it's also October, and that is October is National Bullying Prevention Month. And I want to make sure that we can address this because it's been a recent thing here in the county. We're going to be seeing a video here from uh, Dr. Martirano um, talking about bullying. But it's not just a recent thing about Bullying Prevention Month there. It's been a recent thing here at Howard High School. I want to be able to address this. In the first couple months at Howard here, been seeing some mean activities there, some things that I don't think represents us the way that we want to be represented, okay? In elections, and homecoming, a lot of different things happening in the first couple months. We are not putting our best foot forward here, okay? I've talked to uh, some students about it at the first uh, open uh, forum there, just about the fact that we are a community and we have to be uh, having each other's back. We have to be uh, kind to one another, treat people the way that we want to be treated. And I don't think that's always been the case in these first couple months of school. So we're going to watch a quick video here. All right, I know that it's cutting into class a little bit here, but let me tell you something. Nothing is more important than the community that we have here, the classroom environment that we have. And I think that it's time well spent to be able to watch this video. And I'll come in at the end there and talk a little bit about what I'd like to see moving forward. So let's take a look here. Video from Dr. Martirano. Greetings, I'm Dr. Michael Martirano, Interim Superintendent of the Howard County Public School System. Today I would like to talk to you about the critical issue of bullying and the dire impact that it can have on our children. We know that those who are bullied are more likely to experience depression, anxiety, sadness, and loneliness. They are more likely to suffer from changes in sleep and eating patterns and loss of interest in activities that they typically enjoy. Students who have suffered through bullying have gone so far as to injure themselves and even take their own life. This is the reality that lives within the hallways of our schools and one that we must root out once and for all. Today I am honored to have a new friend by my side. Christine McComas has been a tireless proponent of anti-bullying efforts and somebody that we as educators and advocates for all children must follow and support. Christine's daughter, Grace, tragically succumbed to the mental anguish caused by cyberbullying and took her own life. Our daughter, Grace, was a wonderful human being. She was joyful from birth, kind-hearted, and had a great sense of humor. She was an active, thriving, and communicative teen. But bullying and cyberbullying and harassment hurts and can even destroy. No one deserves to experience the hateful and truly disgusting words and sexual harassment that Grace endured. Understand that words have the power to uplift, but also, especially when amplified exponentially by social media, the power to maim. Name-calling, rudeness, and bad behavior have become all too common today, and we need a cultural shift towards respect and kindness. See, the thing is, you never know what's going on in someone else's life. I challenge you to be more aware. Think before you post. Stand up and speak out against hatred and injustice whenever you see it or you hear it. Don't be a bystander. Be what we call an upstander. I want to speak for a moment to those who are having a hard time, feeling sad or worthless. I'm certain someone listening has considered self-harm or worse. But I want you to know, and sometimes it's so hard to see this, especially when you're young, but this type of pain is temporary. It will get better, I promise. Grace made a terrible mistake when she took her life in. I can't even begin to describe the pain. Please, never do the same thing to your loved ones. Reach out for help, tell someone. There are people and resources to help. 
you are loved and needed right here. We want you to know that what is happening to you is wrong and we want to make it better. And we will. You deserve to be treated with respect. In October of 2013, the state of Maryland enacted Grace's Law, making repeated malicious cyber abuse of a minor a criminal offense. Cyberbullying is now against the law and violators can be fined, jailed, or both. But prosecution is a last resort. Instead, members of the Howard County community, let's join together and raise awareness, communicate and take action to eliminate bullying in any form. To do this, I ask each of you to remember Grace, not only our daughter, but what her name can stand for. Give respect and compassion to everyone. We as educators, influencers, parents, students, friends, and neighbors in Howard County have a terrific opportunity to lead this effort. I know that we have the people here to make this happen. We will stand unified alongside Christine McComas and fight for students like Grace who've experienced the wounds that bullying afflicts. If you are experiencing bullying, say something. If you have witnessed bullying, say something. Find a trusted adult such as a parent, teacher, guidance counselor, coach, or mentor. If you would prefer, visit the Howard County Public School System website for additional secure ways to report bullying online. It is my expectation that every report of bullying will be taken seriously. You will be supported and help will be provided. Thank you for everything that each and every one of you do for our children and thank you, Christine, for your tremendous support to keep our children safe. All right, that was a very powerful message there from Dr. Martirano as well as Mrs. McComas there. I think it's a good reminder of the impact that our words and our actions have on others. Uh, a lot of you are like right now saying, okay, well, what do I do now there? I think as teenagers, it's one of the things I hear a lot of times is you want to be treated like adults. And I think that one of the biggest things about being an adult is taking responsibility. So I want you to take responsibility for your actions. Take responsibility for this school community and the environment that we have there. Think about the kind of school that you want to have. Are you going to be an upstander instead of a bystander? Are you going to think about what you have done and how you can act differently moving forward, but also how you can take responsibility for your actions that you've done and make things right? What are you going to do about the things that you've said? Okay, it's not too late here. We can move forward and we can have the best possible school that we are, uh, that we can, but it's all about you. All right, so I appreciate your support in making this happen. We'll be having some uh, Bullying Prevention Month reminders and uh, other announcements, activities throughout this month. But it's not just about one month, it's about the whole year. So thank you, Lions, for doing the best you can to make our school the most respectful school possible. Thank you.